So this summer anime 2023 season, has it been amazing? Has it been okay? Or has it been absolute trash? Today, we're going to look into that. So get excited. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like 2023 has been an amazing year for new anime. You know, for this channel in particular, it's been very, very good. But with the summer, summer anime season in particular, something seems very off, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys have felt that as well. There's been loads of really, really good shows. We've had ZOM 100, Bucket List of the Dead. No pun intended, brought the zombie genre back to life. It's basically the zombie apocalypse in modern day Japan. Some guy has survived it and, you know, he's basically making a bucket list of 100 things he wants to do before he inevitably becomes a zombie himself. Very good, very cinematic, and I love that. Uh, we've also had shows like The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. It's this cute kind of romancy, sweet slice of life show. Obviously, we've got this girl who without her glasses can't see nothing at all, but the guy that's sitting next to her at school has a crush on this girl and he's been helping her out. The two kind of start to rely on each other and it's been really, really sweet. Of course, we've had classics, classics like Tempero. Hell yeah, I love that bit of lewdness there. This show is basically just kind of like a guy who's trying to get rid of this impure thoughts that his family are associated with uh, and ends up living a life as a monk. But however, the, the problem is, is that he's gone to this temple where it's like only girls. So it's kind of like this really comedy. The comedy in the show is absolutely amazing. Definitely check that out. And the lewdness in the show, I find they've done it very, very well. They're not trying to like awkwardly place it in there or whatever it's kind of like yeah we know this is what we're going to do it's just blatantly obvious that it's there and it's kind of like art in itself it's amazing and then we've got like shows like my tiny senpai you know the masterful cat really good shows but of course we've also had some mega mega uh awesome continuations as well mashuko tensei has been awesome jujutsu kaisen season two has been really good as well uh, for me the best continuation this season without a shadow of the doubt is bungo stray dogs season five that thing has just been absolutely insane this season in particular a lot going on and i'm really surprised that no one is really talking about that show it pains me <laughs> in fact like no one's talking about that show it's so good and i think that's the thing there's like next to no talk on a lot of shows this season i feel like the big moments have been going to like one piece with luffy's gear 5 recently or bleach uh obviously with rukia recently that's been absolutely insane but i think where the summer anime season has really kind of struggled is that though it's got a lot of really good shows they're all like those kind of comfy shows if that makes sense like that's not a bad thing i love the comfy shows like last season we had like my love story with yamada skip a loafer absolutely adored those shows but they weren't the big hits and i feel like this season is exactly the same we've got loads of these really cool kind of like comfy cute shows uh, but they're not the big 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 hits I mean, the, the biggest one for me out of the new anime, I think, is ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead. That's the obvious front runner. It's just done so well. It, it nails everything. Like, art style is amazing. Uh, the characters are sick. The story itself and premise, I love that. And it does a really good blend of, like, the kind of humor in a zombie apocalypse uh, situation, but it also really nails in when it comes to the connections and emotions and the little kind of stories that go on within this setting where it really hits home. And I think that's amazing. However, with ZOM 100, it's consistency. We've had a couple of, de a couple of delays in episodes and I think because they're not banging them out each and every week, the momentum of that show and the popularity of it kind of like dips around i think everyone will agree that it's amazing but i think because it's not in your face every single week and the main news obviously from zom 100 has always been that it's it's been delayed so i think that's probably one of the major downfalls from it and i think maybe the summer anime season has a potential hangover from spring 2023 season because that one was just an absolutely jam-packed insane season obviously pff, oshinoko without a doubt is the main name from that but we also had like heavenly delusion demon slayer the before mentioned skip and loafer dr stone massive massive titles and i think to be fair oshinoko is this one in a 
freaking year maybe or one every six months kind of show like when that came out the popularity and that basically just blew up the anime community where uh, whether you loved it or hated it it was just it was just this massive thing and i think summer is potentially unfortunately suffering the loss of of like shows like oceanoko and heavenly delusion in my personal opinion uh, and of course as a youtuber i've definitely felt a difference in this anime season compared to the last one uh, in terms of like views on videos like uh, recently 414 over here we kind of stopped doing fact videos and we started looking into these more kind of like talking about the new shows that are coming out almost like reviews or just talking about specific moments specific characters and stuff like that and the last two seasons have been absolutely fantastic for this channel however the the views and everything on this season have been t terrible maybe i'm just a terrible youtuber maybe i'm being outed here that's the question so I thought it'd be really cool to kind of include you guys, you know, the 414 community, the anime community in this discussion on what your thoughts have been on the uh, summer 2023 anime season. So I recently put out a poll on my community tab, uh, basically asking what your thoughts were, you know, uh, what do you think of the summer 2023 anime season? Is it sugoi, amazing, pretty good, meh or trash? Obviously the images I use on here are no reflection to the, the word I used. I just uh, wanted to pick some pictures of the series I really enjoyed. Now, looking at the poll here, we've had 2,000 votes. First of all, thank you so much for getting involved. That's so sweet, thank you. 18% Sugoi, absolutely loving this season. We've got 70%, which is the majority saying, pretty good. So like, neither amazing, neither bad. It's just, it's been pretty good. 11% um, meh. And then obviously the very minor 1% saying it's trash. So this, the season has not been trash at all. We can gather by this here, but I think the overall consensus is this. It's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's 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 pretty good. Whereas I feel like the last couple of seasons have been more towards uh, Sugoi, you know, we're like absolutely amazing. And now I also asked for you guys to leave your thoughts in here so we can kind of get a better idea of it, what it, what exactly is your like the overall kind of like thoughts of the community about this season so let's uh have a look at some of these i've not actually read any of these yet so these will be a surprise to me myself as well so first comment is from no excuses just pudding great name uh, the fact that i'm watching three shows when i usually watch zero says a lot i've been enjoying getting back into the mood to watch anime it's been a while so that's a really really positive comment there basically looking at like this season's kind of gotten you back into to seasonal anime. So that's a really positive look on that. And we've got Jonathan Merritt, 6514. Mashoko Tensei, Dark Gathering, and several others are keeping me happy enough. Dark Gathering, I still need to get on that. I was really anticipating, I really wanted to watch that show, and I've not watched that one yet, so I'm definitely going to get into that. But yeah, Mashoko Tensei, I feel, is probably one of the big, big names of this season. Uh, Red Logic YouTube, my boy, says pretty good. It was slow here and there, but overall the season has turned out quite well. I think that's a really kind of good comment there. Like I feel like, yeah, the, the season's got that kind of slower pace to it, 100% because there's all of these comfy shows going on and whatnot. However, as they've continued to roll out, we've obviously started to like fall into like the stories and the characters. We've tried to get those connections to everyone. And uh, yeah, I feel like we're all kind of settled into it now. But I don't feel like there's anything that's like, oh, Oh my god i need to watch this as soon as it comes out it's kind of like yeah cool yeah i'm happy just following the journey so yeah cool comment and we've got arceus rules says mashoko tensei and eden zero are my favorites by far this season i'm also enjoying zon 100 the girl forgot her glasses hell kamasamune kun's revenge season 2 is amazing uh my happy marriage is by far my favorite romance this season and dark gathering is the dark horse this season along with reign of the seven spellblades exactly that there's a lot of really really good shows there as well masamune kun's revenge season two i'm very much enjoying that as well as a massive fan of the first series uh my happy marriage i've heard a good deal of talk about that in recent weeks another one that i desperately need to check out and i will be doing so very soon and again another mention of a dark gathering there really cool uh, Inglorious Dane says, I've dropped a lot of series after three or five episodes. What's left worth mentioning is obviously Mashoko Tensei, Helk, Reign of the Seven Spellblades. I even dropped Tempuru and My Tiny Senpai of all animes. How dare you? You can't drop those two. They're the best two. Come on. I don't know why, but before I watch many animes, there's sometimes I wouldn't keep up. This season, the animes are actually evenly distributed throughout the week. That's a very good point. That is a very good point. I did notice with, I think maybe last season, they all seem to be clumped towards 
certain parts of the week. So that is a pro to this season is that they, they are spread out a lot better. So it, you're not having to watch like 20 episodes in one day and then going a week without anything else. So that's a really good point for this anime season. Dropping temper in my Chinese Senpai though, bro. Sorry, self. <laughs> nah, you like what you like and I appreciate that. Sleepy Night 4 says, it's good. I just feel underwhelmed due to just how great last season was. But I know every season can't be as great as the last season. That's a very, very valid point there, to be fair. We can't expect every season to be an absolute banger. And I think potentially that's that's basically what this is with this season here. It's not necessarily a bad season per se, but I think maybe it's just unfortunately landed straight after what was an absolute banger. Maybe if the last season was maybe on like average with, with what this season is, this season may be considered more better, at least to me anyway. Carlos Garza, 400, yeah boy. He says, I chose Zom because it's a banger of a story that redefines what the zombie apocalypse is. Those that normally would die, i.e. the happy-go-lookers, are the ones that actually thrive. Though, if this was a measure of noiseness, I would have chosen my tiny senpai. And I think that's a very, 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 very spot-on point there for Zom 100. I think why it's so good and why it's the front runner easily this season is because it has pretty much redefined that zombie apocalypse genre. Like, a genre we don't see all too that often and to be fair the ones we have that come out are good i mean high school of the dead is always going to be the biggest when it comes to the zombie genre out there but we have had things like you know like zombie land saga a few years ago which was a very good take on it and i think with zom 100 it's kind of it's basically up the game i don't think it's better than high school of the dead uh, but i think it's high up there so for probably like a very close second i would have thought so Michael J. Patrick 5335 says, there's just no depth this season at all. That said, it's my go is a legitimately great show. Now I've not checked that one out, but it's interesting that you point out that there's just been no depth this season at all. And I think you're right there to be fair. And I like, yeah, I think it goes to what I was saying earlier in the video where I said that a lot of the shows are just a lot of these really great comfy shows that you don't really need to get invested in. And they're kind of like episodic, maybe like a bit of an, a, a story going on overall in terms of like the relationship. So take my tiny senpai, for example, obviously there's a relationship growing over time there, but the episodes are these kind of like tiny moments in leading up to that. And I think you're right. I think there's a lot of shows that haven't got that kind of like gripping, like I need to know what's happening next. Like obviously last season with like Heavenly Delusion, that was, an, that was a series where I was just like, I need to know what's happening next. And I don't think there really is that, even with Zom 100 to be fair, like I don't feel like I need to know what's happening next, but I want to know what's happening next. So I think that's a really, very, really, really fair comment there. There's just no depth. I agree with that. JTR Serial Killer, yeah boy, he says, this has been a mess season with only a few notable exceptions. I've dropped more anime this season after five episodes than last season. And I've noticed there's a little trend there of people dropping after about five weeks, uh, which I think is a very, very valid time to give a show to, to, to see if you're gonna be invested and you wanna commit to that every week. I feel the same. I've not been as gripped into like watching everything straight the way on the day it kind of comes out. I feel like I've kind of just let things go over and then I'll watch a, a, a like a, a bulk of them. And I, this is the first season this year that I've dropped a, a handful of shows because they just weren't gripping me enough and whatnot. So yeah, thank you so much guys there. I was apologies that I couldn't get to all of your comments there, but I have read through all of them and I really do appreciate them. Hopefully we'll do some more stuff like this in the future. It was really fun to read your opinions on things and then to kind of like, you know, add my own spin to it. So thank you so much for getting involved and I definitely plan to do more stuff like this in the future. Now, see the overall consensus there, it seems that um, a few people were enjoying the anime, but tended to drop a lot of shows after about five weeks. It's probably like not a season that as gripping as the one we've had before. And it's almost that kind of, you know, that Anakin meme is like, I, you know, I, I want more and I know I shouldn't kind of thing, you know. Every season can't be as much of a banger as like last season was. And that's a very, very valid point there. And it's something that's made me think about this season a lot differently as well. So a great bunch, great bunch of comments there, guys. So thank you so much for getting into that. Uh, what do you think about the summer anime 2023 season? Um, let me know in the same kind of form your thoughts in the comment section below. I love reading um, everyone's comments and seeing what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying, and just basically your overall thoughts and whatnot. Now, while you wait for the next video to drop, why not check out this video here where I talk about the anime I was most anticipated for this anime 2023 season and see if there's anything in there that you potentially have missed and you might enjoy. But guys, that is it from me. I'll see you soon for some more. Till then, you take care. Peace, peace.